What's up ladies and gentlemen, Nick Arapkulis here and we have another legendary marketer review and update and there's some principles and foundational stuff that I want to talk about here on this video that has been a staple to my success over the last seven years of internet marketing in general. Okay, Not necessarily just, just applying to legendary marketer, obviously I want to share a little bit more about it. I want to continue to update and track my progress as of late just because we are having kind of a revamp of the system. And if you've been watching any of my previous YouTube videos, you kind of know what's going on. Where Legendary, when I started, it, it, it took off really well. And then it kind of, it stayed there for a while and then it kind of took a lull and now it seems like it's kind of ramping back up. And I'm gonna explain in the reasonings why uh, behind that and why I've been able to have success, um, why I've been able to ramp back up with the system, okay? Um, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is mindset. And I know there's a large, percentage of people that hear that and they're just like, oh, it's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. They're trying to just deflect the real step-by-step -step process. And if that is you, uh, I would encourage you not to think like that. Just dis just suspend your disbelief for just a moment and hear me out, okay? Because here's the reality of things is that I've been in this internet marketing industry for, like I said, over, I think it's like seven years now. And I've seen a lot of people come and go. Okay, I've seen a lot of people come and go. I've seen a very small percentage of people stick through it. I've seen a lot of I've seen a small percentage of people that actually are having massive success. Okay. But I've also seen, like I said, a big percentage of those people that just flounder out. Okay. And it's not necessarily because people can't drive traffic. It's not necessarily because they can't drive leads. But it's not it's 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 a combination of those things, but it's a lot to do with the mindset. If you do if you come in and you don't have the proper mindset to actually do what I'm about to teach you, you're not going to have success. And mindset can mean a lot of different things. And so I'm going to try and get as detailed as possible here. But I want you to understand that this type of stuff is not for the, you know, the people that can't, you know, really get after stuff, okay, that can't, that can't weather the storms as I'm about to be talking about here. Um, but people that are just like not mentally strong. That's the biggest thing. And I learned to be mentally strong from baseball. I, I played uh, baseball all the way through college and it taught me a lot about you know being mentally tough being mentally prepared and being able to really you know pa push past those tough times and if it wasn't for that I don't necessarily know if I would have been able to have much success with internet marketing okay and the reason I started with this whole mindset and and all this, this strong mindset type of stuff because I want to show you the numbers that I had within the last two days and there's two ways you can kind of look at this and I want to show you you know the numbers here in a second but I want to show you like the two ways that you can really look at this and this all has to do with mindset so as I pull this down you can see right here that today I had negative eighteen dollars okay not real good right I actually lost money in the system today but you know yesterday we look at it and made over another thousand dollars okay so basically you have two ways to look at this you can say, okay, look today, okay, terrible day, awful day, you know, it sucks, right? We can focus on that, we can choose to put all our attention there, or we can focus on the good, okay? And that's what I choose to do. I always do my best, I can't say that I'm the best every single day and every single time, but I choose to look at the positives. Even one of my buddies was telling me that recently, he's like, dude, you just have a way of looking at the positives in everything that you do, and it's not by accident. I, I practice this, this is a, this is a habit now. Because if you're constantly looking at the positive things, those silver linings in the clouds, it's gonna be a habit. And then the more you start focusing on that stuff, the more that kind of stuff expands and more that kind of stuff comes into your life, okay? This isn't some just mumbo jumbo stuff. This isn't just some pie in the sky dream stuff. The more you focus on something, the more it expands. So it's the law of, what's, what do they call it? It's not the law, I mean, some people call it the law of attraction. Um, one of my mentors talked about, I think it's the law of in, invitation. So you're like inviting things into your life. I think that was the best way to do it. And it's just the reality of things. It's like based on I think it's like like brain science. It's like if you focus on something more, those type of things are going to expand in your life. It's just that's the way the world works. That's the way your mind works. It just keeps on opening opportunities the more stuff you focus on. Just think about it like this on the, on the flip side of things. If you keep on focusing on things that you don't want, what keeps happening? You keep that kind of stuff keeps showing up in your life, right? So Focus on the good. Keep that silver lining. Even if things aren't going tremendous right now, you know, stay positive. It's not the easiest thing to do, but you, you have to do it if you really want to have success, okay? And here's the next thing I want to talk about is weathering the storms, okay? So like I talked about with, with Legendary Marketer is that, you know, where it was going really well for a while and then it kind of dipped for me, okay? But you got to be able to weather the storms. You got to be able to, you know, consistently, you know, do your, 
your end of the bargain, you got to consistently drive traffic and all that kind of stuff. We're going to talk about tra traffic here in a second, but you got to be able to weather the storms. You can't, you can't just be like, so like shifty. You can't be like, oh, I had success today. Great. Oh, I didn't have success today. Like, oh, I'm a complete failure. It can't be that teeter totter type of thing. It's got to be a consistent mindset. You got to consistently just do your task every single day, drive traffic, create content, pay for ads or whatever it is. You have to stay consistent with that if you really want to weather the storms because sometimes it, sometimes sometimes business can be good, sometimes it can be not so good, but you have to be able to keep on keeping on so that, you know, everything eventually averages out, okay? So, the big thing with that like and the more like structural step-by-step -step type of thing what I'm talking about there is traffic, okay? You have to constantly be driving traffic to systems like Legendary Marketer if you want to have success with it. So I want to talk a little bit about free traffic versus paid traffic and why free traffic is going to be the thing that's really going to help you weather these storms, okay? So here's my little sketch pad. I'm going to label that as free and this is paid. I'll just do this, paid traffic. Okay, so free traffic is basically what I like to call content marketing. So it can be videos, it can be blog posts. I guess I'll just signify it as that. Um, I don't know what I'm drawing right now. <laughs> Let's say that's a video. Uh, this could be posts on social media. This could be anything that you're putting out there. Like I said, content marketing. You know, we'll just see if we can make that look okay. Um, so blog posts, videos, uh, you can put up Facebook posts, anything that's going to drive attention, I mean, anything that's going to grab people's attention and has the potential to lead them to another place, particularly a website or an affiliate marketing website or like a system like Legendary. If you're promoting Legendary, you need to constantly be sending traffic to them so that a percentage of those people are going to sign up and pay and then further down the road, a percentage of those people are actually going to pay for the higher level products and that's where the high level commissions come in. We talked about this on one of my previous Legendary Marketer videos. So if you haven't seen that whole thing about you know the value ladder and how you really make a lot of money within Legendary, make sure and check that out. Okay, but that's this is all free traffic. This is stuff that you can you know constantly put up. You can constantly put up YouTube videos. That's what I've done for you know past five years. I've constantly put up YouTube videos, and because of that, I'm constantly driving traffic. And that is a big reason why I've been able to have success in Legendary. Is because I always have traffic coming in day in and day out, regardless if like the system's you know really optimized at that point where or it's having a little lull. So always be driving traffic, so you always have potential to drive customers. And this is, goes the same for any type of business. So you want to have so you want to have some free traffic come in, because you don't always want to pay for traffic. But on the other side of things, this can be you know these are ads, okay? And these can be video. This can be the same type of thing. They can be videos. I'll just draw my stupid little video again. It can be blog posts, it can be Facebook posts, it can be anything, okay? But the key here is that you're paying for your reach, okay? Obviously, you're paying for your reach. Here, you're just using time for your reach, okay? You're putting up YouTube videos. People have potential to find them. People have potential to find a post on your, your Instagram profile or your Facebook profile. You're not really paying for it. You're just, you know, putting, you're putting content out hopes that people are going to find it. Now, not, ever, not a ton of people are always going to find it, especially if you don't really have a, a big following. But you know you can also pay for reach, but that's why I recommend that you actually integrate these two. I don't, I really don't know what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> like drawing them together, but anyways, like you want to constantly be putting up content because that's going to help you build your audience. It's going to help you build traffic. It's going to help build your your personal brand and your authority and your credibility. But if you want to get a little bit more traction going, and you know things are really optimized on your your business, whether that's legendary marketer or any other type of business, then you can start sending traffic specifically to these websites and you're just paying for it and then like we, we've talked a lot about this specifically on Instagram in, in a previous video is that you want to be sending traffic and basically what you want to do with your ads you want to be breaking even on the front end so that your your advertising essentially becomes free from that point on and then as long as you have something like the value ladder set up in your business you can start profiting on the, on the bigger level products okay so um, that's kind of my spiel on free traffic versus paid traffic. I recommend you using both as long as you do have your your business set up correctly. You have some products in place where you can maximize profit. Um, if you don't, then I would probably just recommend sticking with free traffic. If you only if you're just promoting ClickBank products and um, you only have potential to make like 40, 50, 100 bucks on each sale, then if you're using ads, you're not going to be making that much money. You have to really start building an audience and you can help 
you know, build your audience with paid ads. But if you're just looking for direct conversions, you're probably going to want to go with free traffic is just because you're not going to be making much money if you're paying for advertising. Okay. So I just wanted to kind of lay that all out there and show you guys what's going on with legendary as it's continuing to keep on getting better and better. But I also want to continue to show you guys, you know, what are the real principles behind this type of stuff? Is it, you know, is it just sending traffic and making sales? Like yes to a degree, but there's stuff that goes on beyond the surface because again, like I said, I've, I've seen people come in this industry and they've driven traffic, they've collected leads, they've built their audience, yet they still don't, they still get flushed out. They don't have the mindset in place. They, they're not able to weather the storm and they just don't have that mindset coming in these type of things where they're just like, they need to have like that, a bulletproof mindset. And if you can do that, you're gonna have success. It's gonna take time, okay? I'm not saying this happens overnight, I was a mess in my first two and a half years. Didn't make any money in my first two and a half years, but I stuck with it, okay? And that's the big thing I wanna you know, press upon you is that stick with it. No matter what you're doing, just stick with it. As long as, you, you know, you, as long as you're in the game, you have potential to win the game, okay? So stick with it. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you do wanna go check out my free video training that goes into affiliate marketing in general, head on over to mentorwithnick.com. If you do wanna get signed up with Legendary Marketer, I do have some pretty cool bonuses. Uh, I will put a link down below. It'll take you over to the bonus page. It explains like, everything that I offer for people joining my team in case you do want to like get into the system and learn all about it and get all the products and information and be connected with the coach as well as have an opportunity where you can make some money in addition to you know helping build up a successful business of your own. Um, it's really a good system, okay? And right now it's, it's working pretty well on the affiliate side as well. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, connect with me on all my other social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and then leave a comment down below. Let me know if you got some value from this, if you think this helped. If you like these type of videos, if you do, I'll keep on making them. If not, then we'll continue to make other types of videos, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Appreciate you guys. All links are in the description. We'll talk to you soon.